let's look at the first passage. This passage was on uh, goals and impulses. And it said that because human beings are intelligent, they tend to make mistakes. So let's now look at the passage and summarize as we read, which is what you should do for every passage before we attempt the questions. Modern economic theory doesn't assume that we are unemotional, calculating or wise, wise individuals. Far from it, it deems whatever consumers want to be valid, no matter how damaging. It has at its very heart a very strong assumption of general infallibility. The criticism of economic doctrine gets it wrong, the wrong way around. So he says the criticism about economic doctrine is wrong. What is modern economic theory? Peop uh, as far as modern economic theory is concerned, people are not less rational than it supposes, but considerably more rational. If rational means, now he's made a statement that people are not less rational, they are more rational than you assume them to be. But that depends on your, in, your uh, interpretation of the word rational. If rational means having reasons to do something, then people are more rational than what is assumed. Behind each, then he explains why. Behind each decision we make, that typically stretches a landscape of beliefs, plans and objectives. And he gives an example of how we buy an ice uh, or microwave. By buying a microwave, I perhaps, so my mind is going far ahead. I'm buying a microwave, perhaps to avoid cooking. The objective might depend on my doubt, will I ever learn to cook? That assumption might depend on whether cooking is a skill that I want to invest uh, time in learning, which might depend on the preconceptions uh, about learning new skills. So there are a series of interconnected thoughts, plans and objectives behind every action. And the microwave example has been given to tell you how that happens. Goals, and then he comes to the part where he starts talking about goals and objectives and impulses. Goals are intimately connected to the possibility of errors. Goals tends to form, tend to form nested hierarchies. They tend to form hierarchies. Crucially, each objective is contingent or dependent on it advancing the objective it answers to in the hierarchy above it. So goals are in the form of a hierarchy, a ladder, you know, one thing leading to your to the next level. A goal is distinct from a mere impulse. This is the next important statement in the passage. A goal can potentially render other preferences mistaken. Impulses cannot. You can make mistakes where goals are concerned, but not where impulses are concerned. Your impulses to stay at a party cannot be mistaken simply because you, are, you have a competing impulse to call it a night. Then he shows you why goals you can make a mistake where goals are concerned, but not with impulses. Gives the example of staying out at night. The fact that some of our preferences are contingent on others and so can be mistaken is what allows people to persuade one another. Because our preferences are dependent on each other, dependent on other things, that is why People are able to persuade you to do something or not to do something. If you and I realize that we share the same goal, say, of reducing traffic accidents, you can seek to reason with me that my immediate preference in the matter is to vote for a particular policy with that objective in mind is mistaken. You can persuade me that you are wrong in voting for that policy. If instead you believe that my inclination to vote for that policy is a facet of my personality, if instead of, if it's just part of you instead of just a preference, then you won't even try to uh, persuade me. It is my preference, then that is the end of the matter. Persuasion is not open to you. Your only hope is to join forces with enough like-minded people and then silently and grimly outward people like me. So basically he tells you what's the difference between why we can be persuaded and when we cannot be persuaded. To err is human. Missteps, misapprehensions, misspeakings, momentary lapses, mess ups are part of the fabric of life. To err is human. We make lots of mistakes and they are a part of our life. Yet, we are capable of mis making mistakes precisely because we are thoughtful, intelligent beings with complex goals and sincerely held values. 
because we are human beings with goals and values we think we are intelligent we are thoughtful therefore we make mistakes not the other way around we shouldn't be able to if we were otherwise regrets we have had a few but we are wiser for them this is the passage difference between goals and impulses and how it is our intelligence our thoughtfulness that makes us prone to errors that's the main point which of the following best describes the difference between a goal and an impulse now in a pass in the passage the author has clearly stated what is the difference between a goal and a an impulse if you don't remember it let's go back to the part of the passage and see what is the main difference between a goal and an error uh, and an impulse look at this pa paragraph a goal is distinct from a mere impulse a goal and an impulse are different okay a goal can potentially render other preferences mistaken a goal we can make mistakes where goals are concerned but impulses cannot that is what the author says so what's the difference between a goal and an impulse let's look at the options which one describes the difference between a goal and an impulse the difference goals tend to form nested hierarchies true but impulses do not nothing has been said about whether impulses form hierarchies or not so we cannot say the second part of the answer is correct and that's not the difference that has not been mentioned goals are connected to the possibility of errors while impulses are not exactly what the author has stated so b is my answer just look look at c and d goals are infallible impulses are error prone he didn't say that did he say they are infallible we can make mistakes the other way around actually goals require more and le impulses require less rationality he has not mentioned the difference in terms of more and less rationality therefore my correct answer is b i hope you got that right 